Good afternoon, Pep. Um, can we just start with an update on the team news ahead of the game and the latest on Mateus Nunes, uh, Jeremy Doku and Jack Grealish? You know, they off tomorrow with training and we'll see how they feel. Um, it's your 30th match against Jurgen Klopp. You've had an incredible rivalry and some brilliant battles over the years. Do you think this will be the last time that you face him as a manager? I don't think so. We can play in FA Cup in the future, nobody knows. So he's young, I'm young, so I don't know. Over those 30 games, is there anything in particular that you've learnt from him and the way he sets up his teams? Yeah, it always was a pleasure and it will be tomorrow too. So battle and try to win the game. Pep, you've said before that you... you I think you said you learned from Jürgen or he's driven you on. What What is it about him that has driven you? The way they play. The teams play. When he doesn't play, I don't play. But the way they teams uh, make them play football, always you learn. And I, d I don't know if you're aware, Trent Alexander-Arnold has said that, in his opinion, winning trophies means more to Liverpool than it does to Manchester City. I don't know what you you feel about that, but there's also an implication that it doesn't matter to City. It doesn't mean as much because you spend lots of money. I'm just wondering what your observations about that whole I wish situation him a, is. I wish him a speedy recovery and come back to the pitch as soon as possible. Pep, do you, do you get tired by this kind of accusation that it's still about money here? I mean, I know you talk about you couldn't have won without the money, but, I mean, this kind of attitude from Trent and the comments that have been made this week. Speed of recovery for him and he can black soon as possible. Your players have had a bit more to say. I mean, Erling Haaland said that effectively because they don't know what it's like to win a treble he can't understand what that feels like and Ruben Diaz has said similar are you happy to hear your players <laughs> make those comments does it show they've got a fight for what's I'm so happy with my players all the time all the time so many many years but does it show they've got a real fight for everything this season they don't want to let an opponent potentially try and throw uh, up do, do you think we're going to job? fight because Erling and Ruben talk Without these talks, we will not fight. We are there, and after what happened in the last last years, and we're going to try to try again tomorrow and and do a good game. And just finally, on in midweek, you were obviously focused on FC Copenhagen, and I just wondered when when you get home that night, are you still thinking about the adrenaline and the the achievement of getting into the Champions League quarterfinals, or before you go to bed, is that when you're Focus switches. No, we we'll play two days after, maybe, but uh, knowing that uh, we have three days until Sunday, so have more time. No, no, I enjoy completely the qualification for uh, for the Champions League, and and uh, and and yesterday, yeah, yesterday morning, I start to think about Liverpool. But of course, we saw some details. They the shape, they attack is. It's a little bit different than the previous seasons. Uh, the quality of the some players, new players, make the game a little bit different. The, the main pattern are the same, so we know it quite well. Like I think they know us, but a real details you have to adjust the forms, the the quality individual players they have. But at the same time, knowing that you have to take a look the games we played recently, the plays they played recently, and. So you have to adjust something, you know, to be more comfortable with the players that we have to play on Sunday. Hi, Pep. What, what makes Sunfield such a hard place to play at? Especially the, the, the quality of the team. You don't think the crowd factor is different? Yeah, of course, there? but especially the quality of the team. And do you expect an, an extra layer of atmosphere because of the whole thing of Klopp leaving the end of the season? I don't know. We'll see it on Sunday. I think it will be nice because all had been. And, uh, and, <clears throat> and accept the challenge.
Pep, you've had some great battles with Jurgen down the years, especially here in England. Is the party that will miss him when he goes? Or are you glad to see him leaving? I respect completely his decision. Uh, completely, so... Uh, I spoke with him and I had the feeling that he would be back sooner or later, so he's a... A man, he loves football. His passion is there, and his team's always. And he explained perfectly the reason why. So, in the Premier League is the last time, but maybe in the FA Cup we can find. And yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Hi, Pep. You were talking there about preparing for the game, and Liverpool shape is a bit different, and you need to work out what you're going to do. Over the years in these big matches, is it the case that sometimes you think? They know what we'll do, but we need to stick to that because that's what we're good at. And sometimes you might think, we can surprise them, we can do something different. Maybe a couple of seasons ago against Liverpool, you may be a bit more direct. So when you're thinking about matches coming up, especially big games, when do you kind of decide, we need to stick to what we're doing? Or maybe you think, we can take a risk and do something different? No, if I get different, you win. I'm a genius. If uh, I have something different and I'm lose, I'm overthinking person. So, yeah, but that's our reaction. What about your process? Your process is always going to be the process same. My process is uh, which plays I will have. Uh, if Doku will be ready, Jack will be ready. Uh, we know tomorrow, and of course, you can adjust something if they do. The, the moment they make a different shape in the build-up, uh, never before was Alexander Arnold or the fullbacks inside, and sometimes the fullback go wide, sometimes uh, play in different different ways. But the main main pattern is the same. So it's make the game quick and uh, contact with inside in travel runners and in level in travel. So the big difference sometimes is the, the the quality of the players in our side and the side and everything. But leaving little details, the the main action main character of the Liverpool since I met him in Dortmund when when I was in Bayern in Germany and here is is quite similar. And just a quick one, you've mentioned a couple of times you'll see how Jack is tomorrow. Is there a chance he could no. be fit? No. Tomorrow no, Sunday maybe. <laughs> it's a job. <laughs> You've had such great rivalry with uh, Jürgen over the years, but will, uh, will it make your job any easier uh, when he finally goes? When, next season? Yeah, next season. Well, seasons mm -hmm. to come, will your job become uh, easier because they've been such a, a force? I would like to know, but I don't think so. Liverpool always have been Liverpool, and I don't know the decision we're going to make. Uh, but there are other contenders are there, so Arsenal is already there. Last season was the biggest rival, not Liverpool. And look how is they playing. So Liverpool needs more than 90 minutes to win the games. We need sometimes more than 90 minutes to win the games. Arsenal need 25 minutes to win the games. So, so that's why uh, is there. And I guess the other teams reinforce. Tottenham will make a step forward, and and United and Newcastle maybe will be back, having maybe one game a week. Uh, yeah, we'll see. But next season is next season, so I don't have ability to think about it, what is going to happen next. Hi, Pep. You've had, obviously, a long-running um, battle with Jürgen over all these years, not just here, but obviously in, in Germany as well. I was wondering, over that time, have you had any chance to spend any time away from the pitch with him? No. Like it? No. Sometimes in the corridor before the press conference and well, wait, some... When we were honoured to get uh, the Honour Hall of Fame with the Jurgen years ago, we spent time with the families. And but in terms of lunch, dinners, or mm, never happened. We have to decide who pays. That's why we didn't do it. When it's all over in, in many years to come, do you kind of do you like to sort of sit down with yeah, him? And kind I think of... it's going to happen sooner or later. Yeah, I would love it, but we we'll see. I know you don't want to address the Alexander Arnold comments yourself, but from a manager's perspective, how encouraging was it for you the way that Diaz and Haaland spoke yesterday and they sort of wanted to defend their team and their club? The, they defend the club not responding to this guy, what they have done many years on the pitch. 
every single three days. That is the best way, so I would have done it. I could answer him, but why? So, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> so it's what it is. It's very incredible. Proud to what I've done, and and the way is not needs that to prove me my players what really really feels, what really are. <laughs> United to try to do it. Hello. You you spoke about Haaland's body language after the Everton game. Do you think it has improved in the recent games? I was not referring just Erling. It's in all the team. And of course, it's improving, and it will set back. It will improve again, and we set back and improve again. Football and life is like that. You have a problem, and how you solve it. And and the numbers, barely. <laughs> his contribution is massive. Do you think he's back to his best form after injury? Step by step, yeah. The last game it was tight, and his movement is. It's two months is a lot of time for a guy who is so tall, so step by step is getting better and I'm pretty sure in the end of the season will help us a lot.